Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. It's Saturday, and I'm not working today except I'm working around here doing ketchup. But I thought I would make us uh, a Christmas goodie. We're starting in the month of December, and uh, I'm not doing cookies or candy today, but I'm going to do a pie that's new to me that I've heard rave re reviews about. It's a mystery pecan pie. Now, y'all know that I make a really good pecan pie that was my mother-in-law's recipe, and I'll try to remember to put the link down below. It's a never fail. It turns out perfect every time. And uh, I, after that video, I got tons of notifications on email and YouTube that first time ever their pecan pie turned out good. So that'll be one for y'all to try. But this one today is a little different. You mix up a cream cheese base to put in the bottom. And then you put your regular pecan pie type filling on the top and bake it. And so I've already got my pie crust. And I, I used a Pillsbury pie crust that's in the dairy section at the grocery store. And I just rolled it out a little bit bigger because this is a deep dish. And I just put it in there. So you'll need a raw pie crust. So we're going to run over to the mixer because we've got to mix up our cream cheese and sugar and the stuff that goes in there. Spread it in here and then we'll mix up our pecan pie topping and put on that and I guarantee you this is going to be good Because a picture's worth a thousand words and the picture had my mouth drooling. Let's get over to the KitchenAid Okay, I have eight ounces of cream cheese in here and I'm just going to mix that just a little bit It's been out at room temperature for quite a while where it would soften. This is one third of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna scrape that down because we've gotta add some vanilla, an egg, and a little bit of salt, but I want the egg to blend in really well. Let me get one big fat egg and put in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla calls for a teaspoon of salt, but I'm using um, pink Himalayan, and to me, it gets a little too salty, so I'm going to put about three-fourths of a teaspoon, and I hope that that's enough. I don't want it too salty. That would certainly ruin it. So let's mix in our egg and our um, other ingredients, and then we'll put this in the pie shell. I'm going to scrape it down and mix it some more. The recipe said mix it till it's thick. I think that just means till it's blended well, but I'm going to mix it a little bit more, whip it a little bit more, just to be safe. Okay, it's done, and I'm fixing to get back over to the butcher block so we can get it in the pie shell. So let me get my camera set up over there, and we'll keep going. Okay, now we got to fix the, the top part, and we need to put three eggs. Boy, that's a big old egg. My ladies have gotten lazy on me. I've got seven hens out there. Of course, one of them's getting picked on, and she's probably just doing nothing but dodging the bullet from those mean ones. But um, they're not laying as much as they were. But I know it's the weather and the time change and all that. Okay, so I've got three eggs that I'm going to whip them. Now in, in my other pecan pie video, I tell you, don't whip these eggs with a mixer. You want to just, when you're making pecan pie, you just barely want to mix the eggs until they're pretty well incorporated, but not frothy and 
lemony because it messes it up. Barely mix them. We're going to add uh, a half cup of sugar. I think's what it is. Let me look. A fourth of a cup of sugar. Stir that in a little bit. And some of my uh, vanilla from put it in here, a teaspoon of vanilla. I need a cup of white corn syrup. We call it Cairo. That's the name brand. It just about it doesn't matter if I get Kroger or what I get. I call it Cairo. So a cup of uh, Cairo or white corn syrup. And let me mix that. I heard the bell go off on the oven, so let's see if we're done. It looks pretty. Look at that. I have to let it cool. It's a little jiggly, but I think it'll be all right. It said to cook it uh, 35 to 40 minutes, and I've actually cooked it 45 minutes. So we'll see when we cut it how it holds together. But it sure looks like a pecan pie. Yep. Yeah. I got it. Get my phone back in my pocket in case I get an important call. I imagine it's going to take this a few minutes to cool. So I'll go do something else, and when it's cool enough that I can cut it, I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like. What are y'all making for Christmas goodies? What are y'all's uh, traditions at your house? Some things that you make every year. Every year I make Chinese cookies, fruitcake cookies, the little round pecan balls, they call them sand tarts, they call them wedding cookies, all kinds of stuff, but anyhow. Most of the time I make the Hello Dollies, which is the layered um, stuff. I make a cream cheese cookie, a tea cake. I mean, we just have goodies. And then I have some candies that I make. And I did videos of some of that last year, but I'm going to video it if I make some this year so y'all know what's going on at the Jordan house. But I've let this pie cool. And I'm uh, working. I have a lot of catch-up to do when I'm off. And I'm off Saturday and Sunday. I work Monday and I should be off Tuesday and Thursday next week. I have it accepted any jobs for those days. Um, if a teacher comes up that needs that, you know, it's available that I've enjoyed working in their class, I'll take it. But otherwise, I'm probably going to take a little bit of time off and get some Christmas stuff done. I'm not going to do a lot of decorating this year because we're going to have Christmas done at April's and her house looks like a store. So it's beautiful. So if I get to go down there ahead of time, I'll video it and show y'all what she's done with her decorations. But right now, <clears throat> let this pie cool, and I'm going to set me down for a few minutes, and then i got to think about supper. Okay, I got it out of the oven, and it's almost cool. I'm going to let it cool a little bit more, because I want it to be set up good when I cut it. So I'll be back in Jiffy and show y'all what it looks like cut, and I'm going to taste of it. Okay, y'all, I cut it, and you can see it has the layers in it, the pecan and the the cream cheese, and remember me talking about my um, pink Him Himalayan salt? It's a little bit salty, so I would go with a half a teaspoon of salt in that cream cheese mixture. But it is good. It's very good. Of course, cheesecake is one of my favorite things, so that cheesecake layer just makes it. Now, I did cook it, what did I say, I said for 35, I cooked it about 45 to 50 minutes. You want to cook it till the, the middle will look a little jiggly, but it still sets up. You can see that it has set up good for me. So, I thought something was tipping out of it, but it wasn't. So, I would say yes, I'll make this again. It's new to me. And um, I know that if I'm using the, which is all I ever use is pink Himalayan, I'll know to cut back even more. 
Um, usually I cut it back to half just to be safe. So instead of a teaspoon, I would use a fourth, three fourths, uh, uh, to a fourth to a half. A teaspoon is too much salt. But the, the real, 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 real sweetness of the pecan pie part of it offsets it. So, but if, when I make it again, not if, because I will, uh, I'm going to put a half teaspoon of salt. Hope y'all will try it. It's different. I love cheesecake, so it's right down my alley. But I wanted to give y'all some more options for things to fix for the holidays. And I'll be back in a day or two or three or four or five whatever my schedule allows, and be making some more of my goodies. And the grandkids want Chex Mix. So I'm probably going to be making Chex Mix probably tonight or tomorrow. And if I do, I'll go ahead and show y'all what I put in mine. And um, I usually do two or three batches during the month of December because they just eat it like little pigs. That's one way they like cereal. Y'all get your goodies together and let me know what you're making and what you're uh, tradition is that you do every year and if you want to share a recipe well email it to me I'll appreciate that and I'm gonna I'll be working on getting some more videos up I'm gonna tell y'all it's it has been a little bit of a stretch for me to work at this school and then keep videos going too so I'm gonna do my best to get a bunch of them done and then I'll have two weeks off um, and I'll try to get ahead on some videos. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. And I'll be back in a few days. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And hit that little bell so you'll know when I make other videos. A bunch of y'all are saying you're not being notified. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know unless you might go in and unsub and resub. I don't know. Uh, it upsets me because I can tell by my um, board that I can go and look at that things aren't normal. But I don't know what to do about it. So... Give me a thumbs up, and if you don't get a notification, well, search Apron Strings and see if I've got something up that you haven't watched. I would appreciate it. The good Lord bless and keep you, and I'll be back in a little bit.